So in this section, I really just want to go over the rip queue and previewing your print before you send it off to the printers. So right now we have a chem dry that we have ripped and sent through the job editor and tiled out. So if you notice here, what used to be the passenger side is now four individual jobs. So this is panel one, two, three, and four. The status is waiting to print. We can see what printer it's going to go on, the size of the panels, the media, copies, print mode and resolution, and whether or not it has a GraphTech cutter cut file going to be sent to the cut server. So the idea is whatever is on hold will be paused and will not be sent to the printer until it's been unpaused. So at the moment we would be sending all these files to the printer. So at the moment we don't want to do that so I can go ahead and select all these and we can hit the pause button and you can see that everything's on hold and because everything's on hold we have no longer a print preview so let's say that I want to print the whole passenger side the first thing we want to do is we want to give space between the print the the prints because like right now they're all butted up together so I want to choose my placement to be group jobs together and if you come over here you'll notice that we have that space in between the prints and we also have swath bars that we can place in our print so if we wanted to make any changes to how much space is in between the tiles, we can come over here to this little configure placement button. And this is going to bring up a dialog box. So under the general, we have our offset. So if we wanted to add space between the tiles, we can have one inch before the, the print. And we can also add it one inch after the print of blank space. We also have a gutter size with our swath bar so we can have swath bars on both sides if we wanted to. At the moment I just have one to the left and it is set to 0.2 inches. We also want to make sure that we have flip every other tile checked on. Under options if we were going to make rows and rows of decals and we want it to have them arrayed and copied. We'd want to make sure that this is select, selected and we would be able to adjust the space between the copies of decals but at the moment this is just going to be a vehicle wrap being printed so I will probably show this in better detail when we get to uh, decals. So we will go ahead and also we have grouping by copies and we can do grouping by tiles if we need it to. So we'll go ahead and select OK. And at this point, we'd be ready to hit the Print Now button and send it to print. Things to keep in mind before you hit print. You want to check your square footage to record on your invoice sheets. You'd also want to make sure that you have enough material. So we would check how much material is left on the printer and we could also figure out how many feet this would be of material being used so which is always a good way to check to make sure that you're not going over um, we also have our archive so if we decided that we wanted to reprint some of this stuff we could copy and we can also drag it back up to the rip and when we drag it back up to the rip, it's going to ask us if we want to reprocess this, which means it's going to be sent back to the job editor. So we don't want to do that. So we'll say no to all. And now we have this box truck on the HPs that is ready for print. So whenever we have something printed and needs to be reprinted, or maybe the status was set to an error, if something was happening during print, we could always drag this back up and reprint it. 
pretty quickly on the fly without taking it back into job editor. So what I want to do is, let's say I didn't want to print that, and I can select all that and archive it for later. So now it is back in the art, the archive, and the status has changed to archive instead of recyclable. So for later use. So that's basically the basics of the RIP. We also have the ability to change the order if we wanted to move this down past two. So let's say that we want passenger one to be after passenger two during the print. So we could hit the down arrow and now we have changed the order. And we can also send this, If let's say this is the last panel, we could send it all the way down to the bottom with this arrow, so vice versa with the up arrows. Let's say we wanted to add crop marks to this before print and we didn't want to take this back into job editor or if we forgot to add our crop marks we could go to so this is our job this is the job editor button but this is our job properties button so if we open this dialog box you'll see that now we have we have the ability to come in here and add our graph tech cut we're also able to rotate this 180 degrees. We can make multiple copies. We can rename it. We can come over here to marks. We can turn off the print label if we didn't need it. And we also have our crop and crop outline. So we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. But those are easy changes that we can make on the fly through the job properties. So th these are basic features that we have in the RIP queue. We also have placement, job pl or the job placement strategy stuff that the RIP can use. And we'll talk about that in more detail later on. So uh, I think that's it. So this is the console. If you get an error, the error will be sent to your console. If you need to report it to your Onyx support team, and I will see you next video. Thank you.